Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Oh, hello. Hi. I'm Rick. Uh, I, I guess we're doing cut the tape. Let's just do cut the tape. Welcome to Cut the Tape. I'm Rick Alvarez here at the world famous Frame and Picture Shop in Wilbraham, Massachusetts. Hit me up for all your pop culture framing needs. I thought today I would start with something small and then do something really big. So on to the small stuff. The small stuff is not MicroMasters, Micro Machines. This is a long time coming. This is like I mean, Beast Wars put out some stuff in the microverse. I mean, this is this is really like 30 years late. We're 30 years late to the party here. This should have been out nonstop since like Beast Wars era. All right. So I'm glad it's here. We got a number of play sets which open up. One thing I'm gonna say is it's very odd that it's movie stuff. We're starting with movie stuff. I mean, this feels like it's already 15 years too late, right? I mean, when was, it was 2007 the movie? This, this is like, this is, this is late. I mean, either way you look at it, it's late. We're late to the party here. And what's weird is, it, all right, so it's movie stuff but it's got the non-movie Autobot and Decepticon faction symbols on it with movie iconography. You know, I'm really happy with the, the passing of the torch and, and the great character selection that Hasbro's been doing. Really happy with the line plan. But I don't know if they know the, the legal jeopardy is involved with Autobot symbol versus movie. I mean, there's all sorts of royalty issues. Anyway, they, there's little blind packs. So, so there's four packs, right? There's four packs. And they come with a little decoder, which is cool. What are we decoding? Oh, a little faction symbol on the back. Like the old G1 tech specs came on the back of the box, but it's on the cars. That's cool. That's cool. Let's go ahead. Let's, I'm just going to rip these open. You know, I've, I've got to set it home that are sealed minty, minty fresh. Let's just rip into these, why not? So, oh, it's a whole, it's a whole thing. Look, it pops out, it's a whole thing. It's, it's a play set. It is, a, it is a play set. And let's see if we can take this off without it. Yeah, okay, so it's actually, uh, street and parking spaces so that's cool all right let's get that view instead i, I always try to get the uh, display case you know so i just buy them all so i can get the display case because 30 years from now who's gonna have that right i will so i've never played with micro machines i was not a micro machines kid we got our little decoder here. This is movie Revenge of the Fallen Megatron. On the bottom, we're going to decode and it's going to tell us if it's an Autobot or a Decepticon. Holy crap, if you couldn't tell by the Decepticon symbol painted on the top, using this decoder, putting it up to the bottom, it tells me it's a Decepticon. Well, it doesn't tell me it's a Decepticon. It just shows the, it's it's a purple symbol guy. So if no one's ever watched any of the programming, 
you wouldn't know what a Decepticon is. Anyway, it rolls. Does it pass the roll test? It does pass the roll test. It's a little. It's a little big for the parking spot. I'm guessing these are all interconnecting, interchangeable with the blind box. Blind box. All right. Who else do we get here? We got here uh, Alita One, RC, and a Bumblebee. Because of course, there's a Bumblebee. So three Autobots and a Decepticon. This one is three Autobots and Decepticon. This is a Desert Optimus short stacks. Uh, Revenge of the Fallen, Starscream, Sideswipe, and Jetfire. So three Autobots and a Decepticon. And what are the other packs? Three Autobots and a Decepticon. Oh, except for pack one, which is two and two. All right. So let's open up one of these blind packs. I've, I've been waiting to open these since uh, I got them. So I wanted to do a cut the tape with them. First, first reaction. All right, so there's a little paperwork in here. Let's let us examine what is in the in the paperwork. Oh, so we got some nice stickers. We got a sticker sheet that we can, you know, adorn our our makeshift playset to customize and make it the way we want to make it. Oh, and all sorts of little suggestions on how to put them together, you know, you, you just go to town. Go to town and let's, no, let's, let's see, let's see what's inside. I am an adult man. I am 300 plus pounds of fury. How can I not get this open? How is a child supposed to open this? How is a child supposed to open this? I had to use leverage. Oh, inside we got, we got uh, some accessories. We got a, a parking spot and a, a stop sign. All right. Excellent. We got a, looks like a corner store. And we got a, we got the Scooby van. Actually, we, we got a taco truck. We got a taco truck that is an actual, just a regular micro machine. This is not Transformers. It, it, it says Transformers on the side. How is this? What the hell is this? This is just a, this is just a taco truck. It, it literally says vehicle playset, playset plus vehicle inside Autobot or Decepticon. This is neither an Autobot nor a Decepticon, nor does it have a place for me to put my decoder on it. And, and are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? These don't connect. This is not an Autobot or a Decepticon. This is just regular micro machine. No faction symbol, no little code on the bottom to... Am I getting punked? It, it literally says Transformers or Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Mystery Pack. child supposed to open this what the hell is happening here all right this is a this is a desert scene now these surely these connect
surely these must connect. And they do. Although, awkwardly. No, they don't. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here with this. All right. They do connect. This one comes with, I don't know, a cactus and some rocks. And it comes with a Camaro Redeco, traditionally the Cliff Jumper. This one is a Transformer. It's Cliff Jumper. This is not a Transformer. In any sense of the way, this is not, this is just random civilian vehicle, which was branded as Transformers, but is not a Transformer. And, and this one, this one didn't even have the instructions that this one came with. This one didn't have stickers. This one had no paperwork, right? This one had no paperwork, no stickers. This one had paperwork and stickers, but it didn't have a transformer in it. See, look. Oh, here it is. My bad. It does have paperwork and it has the decoder. This one did not have a decoder. So they, they purposely sold me something which may or may not be a transformer. So when you buy these, it may or may not be a transformer. Mystery pack on one side, micro machines. On the other side, it says transformers, but it may or may not have a transformer inside of it. What that that is shitty marketing. This one has a decoder. This one surely must be a, a transformer related. Jesus Christ, come on. How do you open these things? God. All right. This is a desert button purple. And it comes with Optimus Prime comes with an Optimus Prime. Looks like it's movie one Optimus. Comes with a brown cactus, a gray cactus, instead of a green cactus. And oddly enough, this has parking spots in it, but the cars, even the cars don't fit in the parking spot. And these don't connect to this. So, Let's, let's pick one from the bottom. Let's see if that one is a transformer or maybe it's just a fluke. Hey, maybe I just, I got the fluke one, right? Maybe they put in a non-transformer in that box by accident. This one says transformers on the instructions, but it does not have a decoder. So, Will this, no, it's, it, it's not, a, it's not a transformer. I, I got the taco truck again, but it says transformer, but it's not a transformer. It's a civilian vehicle. No wonder it doesn't have the decoder on it. I, I, I don't understand this. Again, no decoder, so most likely, not, this better not be a goddamn taco truck. All right, we got a plane. We got a simple airliner. Just a simple plane. Comes with a terminal, comes with a, a sign. All right. but it's not a transformer. So it really is 
luck of the draw whether you get a transformer or a generic micro machine. Let me tell you, I have no interest in the generic micro machines. I want the transformer ones. I don't want to populate my world with non-transformer civilian vehicles. That's very upsetting. I'm very upset by this. We're gonna do one more. One more. I, I, I don't even wanna open the other ones anymore. That's, it'll be another 10 years before I get to open those because I, I'm upset. I am having a physical and emotional response to this. I, I don't like this. I, I don't, I don't like this. It's got a decoder, great. Should be a transformer. Hey, we got a transformer. We got Iron Hot. No, we got Black Optimus Prime with gold. This isn't even this isn't even a redeco that was ever made of Optimus. Oh, it's got a Decepticon symbol, so it's a Nemesis. It's a Nemesis Optimus or a Decepticon Optimus. And what, you know, it'd be great if they had the name of the character on the bottom, you know, to help kids learn about the toys and the characters. Just one more to just, I'm, I'm, I, I don't, I don't understand. It's just decoder, so it must be a transformer. It just feels like, a, it's just, um, it's a side swipe. It's a side swipe. It's a red side swipe. Also not a repaint that was ever released. I mean, there was a red side swipe, but not with, you know, the white details on it like that. Um, this left a very bad taste in my mouth. All of that. Now, here's another weird thing. This is a, huh, Titan. What do I mean by that? Well, this is a, hey, what other big characters are out there that we can make? Rather than, hey, let's make another big character that the fans really, hey, let's put out a G2 Devastator, or hey, let's, let's put out a Omega Supreme as a Sentinel, or let's put out Metro Titan from Metroplex. No, we're gonna sp spend the money to make a brand new Titan but it's Cybertron Metroplex, and it's not, I mean, when the name hit the internet, was it like a Cybertron, War for Cybertron-esque Metroplex? Or was it the Metroplex from the Cybertron line? I mean, it's great that Cybertron figures are getting attention and that there's new and updated. I'm, I'm excited about that. But did Metroplex really need to be done? Couldn't they just re-release the old figure? I mean, I kind of feel they could have just done that and put this money towards something else, you know? So, I mean, I'm glad I have it, but it's like a, man, I wish I had something else. Certainly big, certainly tight in size, big, big instructions. All right, nothing in there, just cardboard. Let's, um, you know what? I'm just gonna cut the, the, cut the strings. How's that? Cut the strings. Cut those strings there. This is tape. We are going to cut some tape. See, we did it. Because that's the name of the show. Here, let me file this.
it's just so similar to the Cybertron one, which was itself very articulated. So again, it's a, uh, huh, why bother type situation? I mean, again, I'm, I'm happy that we, Cybertron toys, characters are getting attention, but it's a, uh, very curious. I mean, this is the big thing. This is cool, right? And I'm sure it's a cool vehicle for kids. All right, it's, it's a cool vehicle for kids. But as a collector, who's going to pay the? You know, let's just round it up to 200 bucks, right? Like, it's weird. It's a weird choice. It's a weird choice. Um, no cyber planet key, which I mean, that's fine, but I kind of wish we did have the cyber planet key. Metroplex Cybertron was always a skinny character. I, I'm sure there's a way to attach this. Surely there is a way to attach this. Surely. There we go, right? There we go. And he'll stand up without without falling over. That that actually seems a little cooler to have it on the back there. Like a little halo. Something about this guy just reminds me about like Mayan iconography. Maybe because I was just in Mexico and it makes me think about that. This was a very disappointing toy opening day. This one's, I mean, I understand it's its bigger than the Cybertron Metroplex toy. It's bulkier, but it's, it's a very thin design and it's a very fanciful, it's one of those guys that just kind of folds over and transforms and that's, that's it. Which I always found very unappealing. But um, at least, you know, you put a car in his hand and it's kind of to scale. All right, well, we'll try again next time. Uh, remember to wash your hands, be nice to each other, register to vote, and find something fun to cut the tape on. Peace.